All right, so we are out here for one of the first times in Sundar Patan multiplayer. I found a server. It actually seems like it's a relatively new server because there are no zones in a lot of the areas. Um, no discovered zones in a lot of the areas, except kind of down south and in this, that area. So it would be pretty interesting. Don't know what we're going to find up here, but it, it is yak drink time. And we definitely want to get a yak. So we're up here looking for those and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So we're at the, the first lake of our hunt here uh, for yak. And there's only three yak here. At least that I can see. There is an eight, though. Up to 269, so uh, no chance at a level 8 diamond, but that's okay. We'll just take two shots into the side like that. Hopefully he doesn't run into the water and die, because I seem to have lots of that happening. And there, he's out of the water now, so no chance of that. He's going to run up into the trees there and expire, so... First yacked out, and it is a level 8 mythical, which is very nice to see. So we're going to go get that guy. And, um, hopefully we'll be able to get to some other yak lakes, and, um, particularly this one. I'd like to see what this one looks like before, uh, anybody else gets there. And here is our first yak of the day. 256 scoring, dark red-brown. 256 on the dot scoring, I should say. Dark red brown, so very cool to see that. Hopefully, uh, with this seeming to be a relatively fresh map, it's a sign of some other fresh stuff out there, and we'll have to go see what's out there. Ooh, hello. That's a nice looking red, uh, red fox, Tibetan fox out there. Uh, rather. Looks like the orange fur type. I know my fur types correctly. And if we can just... Do that. And drop him. That'll be a nice red... Uh, I almost said red, I said red fox again. It's a nice Tibetan fox down right there. I think I'm saying red fox because it's the... One of the last uh, base game species that I need to get a trophy. Or that I, I want to get a trophy of. I want to get a trophy of every game in... Every game? Every animal in the game. I guess they are technically game. Um, And red fox is one of the last base game species that I'm missing a, uh, a trophy of. So, maybe I'm just trying to manifest it in a way. And here's our Tibetan fox, making sure I get the name correct. It is just a gold. 6.13. One of the bigger Tibetan foxes I've ever shot. So, uh, that is nice to see. Nice to see indeed. And it was the orange fur type. Definitely good to see a mythical. I haven't seen one of those in a little bit of time. So, uh, that's very nice. And we're going to keep moving here and try to get to this uh, this next lake. It's a little ways away, but we've still got a, a lot of time left on yak drink time. The amount of yak that are here drinking is pretty, pretty good. Of course, uh, nothing too crazy. We got a seven and eight, and I want to say a... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> Right there. Okay. That's a nine legendary. He must have been hiding just right there on those trees. I did not see him until that exact moment. Um, well, we have already been trolled once by a legendary yak, so a little nervous about this guy. But once he stops walking in here, I will. Well, come on. If he stops walking here, there we go. I'll put two shots in. Second shot was really bad. I don't even know if it actually hit, but it is going down. So that's great news. And about to fall down there. Yep. We got a nine legendary yak on the ground. Oh, and he's he's sliding. He 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 took quite a quite a tumble. Let him make it easier to claim. Hopefully. Um, we'll have to see. I definitely want to get here quickly because I feel like someone just got kicked for not placing a tent for the host. So we're going to run to this guy as quickly as possible before I start to ask me to place tents because uh, I don't have tents on me. Thankfully, he, he slid down the hill, so it's going to make it quite a bit easier to, to do the harvest. But here we are. 
A nine legendary yak. Dark brown fur type, maybe? Without, but without further ado, we get trolled again. Another legendary yak. Dark red brown, 270.99. Both shots did hit. The second one was just in the intestines. Wow. Trolled by less than three points. That is a upsetting. Again. And at the same spot I was trolled at on my own map, I feel like. I could be wrong on that, but that is pretty ironic. Another troll yak. Not exactly what we were hoping for, but uh, that's the way it is. I don't even know what I'm about to say right there. Hopefully we can go out and do uh, some more yak hunting. My birds are hard right now. I'm, uh, we're going to find some more, some more stuff, hopefully. That is a melanistic munchak out there. Um, okay. Where'd you go? Right there. Uh, how can I get around better? We're gonna have to get around. I'm gonna have to kind of hoof it. Uh, okay, you know, I got time. Their drink time ends at 1800, so we got time. That is so cool. Uh, we're just out here on multiplayer. It's one of my first times going into multiplayer on Cinder Patan. So, uh... It's pretty exciting. We've only been here for a couple minutes and we've already found something. And we're gonna try to fix where that's placed. So let's try to get over there. All right. There, there she is. So it's just a female. We'll just level one. Still really cool though. I'm really excited about this. I joined this server specifically because it was in Munt Jack drink time. Got some more drinking down that way as well. Oh, and some more. Right here. Found a bunch of them, it would seem. No level... F I mean, no big ones, because twos and threes is all we're seeing. Can't spot that one yet. Let's see if I can... Just the one. All right. Um, but yeah, Muntjack... Oh, where am I going? Are one of the animals that I really wanted to get a trophy of, and we haven't been able to find anything on my server. We'll drop her. And boom, we got a Melanistic Munchak down. But yeah, that's why we joined multiplayer with this drink time in particular. And the first Munchak I saw, actually no, the, the second. Second Munchak, third Munchak, I don't know. I saw some down that way. I think it was just two, might have been those ones. But uh, yeah, pretty much immediately found what we were looking for. Those are looking directly away from us. That's gonna make it hard to shoot. So we're not even gonna really bother with those. And we're just gonna gotta run around the water here to get to that munchak. Got a bit, bit of ways of running to go, but we'll get there. And wow, that looks incredible. Almost like there's hints of red on there. Wow, beautiful model. Look at the red on the ears and the nose, kind of around the eyes, red brown. Looks really great. I'm gonna make sure I taxidermize that. We got her. What a trophy to have. Like, that is just so beautiful. And we're down, I wanna say, to just woolly hair and. Oh, what was that? Woolly hair, Barasinga, and Tibetan fox as the only new animals we do not have trophies of yet. So we're doing. Very good, it would appear. Well, I hope you enjoyed that Melanistic Munchak clip. Oh, hello. That's kind of funny. Uh, we, we got a snow leopard out here, as these tar are definitely spooking because of it. This is just a level 7. But, oh, whoa, hello. Not a great shot on that right there. <laughs> but, uh... It's okay, just level 7, just the caramel fur type, so we're not messing up any sort of trophy there, but it is a cool sight to see, especially this high up in the mountains, and really being able to see it in an area, and, and uh, that's definitely very cool. And oh, you... Well, you're running funny, but, you know. Oh boy. Yep, that was a bad shot. Nope, not you. That'll drop him. 
I don't know what that one looked a little darker than just the normal red brown. So I'm taking that just for curiosity's sake, I guess, because it was not big at all. But um, I have not been the best at, <laughs> at being able to tell rares apart from this one. But this definitely doesn't look dark red or red brown. It is red brown. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to go grab that snow leopard. And here is our... Uh, that scared me. Caramel colored snow leopard that we just shot. Yep, definitely uh, we're a bit far back on that. But, uh, you know, it does happen. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep moving. 27.38 scoring. We're going to check out this uh, mating call that we just got from this yak over here. Their drink time has ended, unfortunately. We had... We didn't find anything over in this area because there was somebody in the server on an ATV that, that drove up there as we were getting there and they spooked everything in the area. So, a little unfortunate. But, like I said, we did just get a mating call over here, so maybe we'll get something spotted. We definitely spooked whatever was here. And nothing's going aggressive that I can see. So... I'm guessing we're not going to find anything. I'm still going to be hanging out in this multiplayer server uh, for a while. We've got plenty of hunting to do, plenty of map to cover. So I've got high hopes. And we've actually still got some yak drinking down there. And by some, I mean just one. And it is just a six. So nothing of note. All right. Uh, for Barasinga out there, we have found quite a few max weight estimate Barasingas, but they are all level fours. Now, before I take the shot, I just want to make sure there's not anything that I might spook on this part of the river. I don't think there. Hello, small one. And okay, stuff I've already spooked. It would appear so nothing, nothing crazy. There's our four. And let's just take him down. Put one shot into him there. I'll take him down rather quickly. 303 is quickly becoming one of my favorite weapons to shoot. Especially on this map. It takes uh, almost every animal that it is ethical for very quickly. So that's always good. And we're going to go grab this bear single wherever he ended up. And he looks like he's right there. So not too far away. And there is our embarrassing 193.54 scoring. Not super big far as fours go. As you can see, yeah, we're still, you know, what is that? 33 points away from a diamond. So I'm hoping that whenever we do find our first diamond embarrassing, we'll be able to know it's a diamond. At least we'll know it's a big one before we actually spot it. Hopefully. Definitely bigger than that guy. <laughs> There's a big estimate. I just kind of realized what their estimates were saying. There are some big estimate fours in here. I think only fours, though. No fives. That's okay, though. Oh, uh, what is that one? A three. Okay, so there's two fours that go pretty high that one goes up to 230 this one goes up to 245 that one is definitely bigger than the other one so we're gonna go for that one first and then we'll try to get another shot onto the other four there all right okay we got good shots on both of them there's one i'm assuming they're both down yeah they're both down I think that's the bigger one that's floating towards us. So, unfortunately, it does seem like we have to wait for him to come in. And then we can continue on our quest to get the other one. But that was pretty cool. Definitely interested to see what this one scores. With an estimate up to 245. So, I'm guessing it's going to be my biggest uh, Barasinga so far. Regardless if it's a diamond or not. And here comes our first bear singer very slowly, but he's uh, gently floating towards us. Now let's see here. Here we go. 222.49. Definitely my 
biggest bear singer so far, and that rack looks crazy. As I mentioned on the other four earlier, it is notably bigger. 265 kilos. Very, very close to being a level 4 diamond. Again, I don't recall if level 4s can make diamond. I don't know if I've seen any posted. But I feel like a lot of the species that are on this map have been making diamond uh, below their, their max level. So I have a pretty good feeling that they can, especially with a 222 score right there. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. So, uh, do not, don't, don't take that and, and quote me, please. <laughs> um, one more, one more level four to grab here. And that looks like the, what was the herd that was just there. So they're still running. And we got water buffalo over there. Okay. And here is our second four. Definitely a lot smaller than the last one. 202 scoring. Did break 200. Definitely didn't expect that after seeing how large the last one's rack was. But that's pretty cool nonetheless. Two golds. Level fours with big estimates out of the same herd. Definitely like to see that. And we're going to try to find some more Barasinga here. I am pretty much nearing the end of the area with a drink on the river. Um, so we'll see how this goes. And we do got a lot of people in this server kind of down in this area. So maybe it's likely, maybe it's not. But we're going to try to before the end of their drink time. We got about half an hour in game. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. So just checking out blue sheep drink zones here. Uh, decided I wasn't quite done hunting yet. And boom, we've got a 153 to 171 estimate level 5 blue sheep down there. That's pretty cool to see. That's a big estimate. Um, I'm going to try actually going to that bridge and shooting him kind of from up there or maybe from even on the bridge if I can manage that. We'll see how that goes, but give me a minute to kind of just walk around here. We don't want to run because if we don't want to spook them. But that okay. So I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but we're going to go for this. I can't get any further onto this rope, uh, unfortunately. I definitely tried. I definitely wanted to. Um, but we're just going to go for it from up here. We should be able to just take out our Rio 3. And theoretically, we can just do that. He'll go down. He's down. Real big one, like I mentioned. Real cool trophy, and now we just have to get down there without, uh, you know. And I was definitely wrong. Uh, teleporting to the to the uh, outpost over here and coming around was definitely the fastest way. It, you cannot really get around that. So, uh, noted for the future, at least. And here is our, what looks like a huge blue sheep here. And we'll do that. And, yeah, boom. Uh, uh, well... Huge, but pretty much the lowest part of his estimate, and his tongue is kind of sticking out through his mouth there. That's a little concerning. We barely hit the shot. We just hit the liver. I should have paid atten more attention to that. I, I aimed right for the middle of the body. I definitely should have aimed a lot further forward. That was almost unfortunate. I mean, we just barely missed the lung there, but still almost unfortunate. It is just a 156.35, so just barely making it there. Um, and another slight gray. So, same fur type as our other diamond, but that, that is okay. It is a diamond. Uh, I'm always happy to get those, so definitely not a complaint there. Um, and that's pretty cool. Now, I, I know I said it last time, but after, after seeing that, I definitely want to stick around on this server for a little bit longer at least. Now. All right, everybody. Here we are back in our lodge. And just, uh, did a little rearranging. Here is the first slate gray blue sheep diamond that we shot. And you can see it is a 156.6, making it actually bigger than the one that we just shot. The 156.3, so 0.3 above, but still, I thought this one was going to be way bigger than it was. And, you know, turns out it's actually smaller than the other one we have. So we got him set up in the side room right here. Pretty cool. Uh, we moved the tar that was right there up to there, the dark red tar that we have. And then... Just over here is our melanistic northern red muntjac, the little female. I moved, there was a jackal that I had here. I moved him 
down the hall to the right over there but so so happy this thing ah, this just looks so incredible just the little details the little accents around the eyes and the ears and on the face in general um something that i've just noticed which is random but they actually have you know like the nipples there i hope they're called nipples otherwise i'm just the guy talking about nipples right now but uh we're gonna ignore that and yeah that's <laughs> that's gonna do it for this video um I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's been a thrilling hunt here. We're looking into to start going on to other maps again after, since we've uh, slowly been gathering all of the trophies from the map, uh, the new map. So uh, one of these next couple of videos we'll be exploring some other reserves again and trying to catch up on the trophies that we're missing from those ones because I believe I've mentioned we're doing very, very good with getting all of the uh, you know all the trophies of all the species different species on Sundar Patan but much better than I have for a lot of the other maps uh, in the game so we're gonna start doing that and that's gonna do it here so thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far I appreciate you so so much but you're now leaving the danger zone so stay safe out there and I hope to catch you back here next time bye